Hey guys, uh, welcome to another Jason's Tech Talk. Uh, I thought today uh, we'd just do a quick overclocking guide on the Ryzen 5 3600. Um, I've overclocked this CPU since I've had it, which hasn't been very long. Um, but I thought we would do it today on the channel and just for you guys that had never done it or maybe looking for a quick guide. Um, now for the overclock, uh, we're going to use uh, AMD Ryzen Master. Um, it's a great little piece of software. Um, it's great for overclocking. Um, especially if you don't want to mess with the BIOS, which can be a little bit scary to some people. Um, overclocking with software, uh, it's pretty easy. Now, I've got a Ryzen 5 3600. Uh, I do have a CLC. Um, I've got a Thermal Take um, Water 3.0 with a 280 millimeter uh, rad. Um, to keep it cool, um, I'll, I probably wouldn't go over um, about a 4.2 overclock if I was using an air cooler. Um, uh, if I was on the stock cooler, I probably wouldn't overclock at all. Uh, but with a decent air cooler, you can go to about 4.2, uh, but you need to watch your temperatures. Um, on the water cooler, there again, you need to watch your temperatures, but I've got to 4.3 um, with a d decent voltage and haven't ran into any, any trouble. The highest temperature I've had during benchmarking has been around 71 degrees. Um, during normal gameplay, 60 to 64 degrees is tops, and that's after hours. Uh, now, as you can see here, we opened up uh, the Ryzen Master. Uh, gave you a little warning. Don't let it scare you. Uh, just hit the OK button and you come into your profile. When you're at your home button, you can't change anything. All you can do is look. Uh, it gives you your temperatures with your temperature limit um, and just a bunch of gauges to, to watch, well, you know, watch what you're doing. Um, now to do the overclock, um, I've already got a couple overclocks set. Um, but this is how I would do it if I was starting from scratch. Um, now you're going to open it up and it's going to show that you're running um, the default, which is uh, 3600 uh, on all cores. Um, if you want a manual overclock, just move your click down here on the manual. Uh, now you're going to want to go to where it's by where it says CCD0 and the first one is going to be a red cog. Um, you're going to want to click that till it turns green and that's going to give you a, a overclock on all of your cores. Uh, so whatever you put in one, it's going to mirror it to all of your other cores. Um, now when I was starting out, um, I'm pretty sure most of the Ryzen 3600s are going to be able to go to 4.2 um, right off the bat. So just for, change that number to 4200. Um, that's going to change it in all of your fields here. Um, now the peak voltage, it automatically sets to 1.38. Um, I would leave it there uh, to, at the beginning. Um, you can go up to 1.4, will not cause you any trouble uh, if you want to start a little bit higher. Um, and if you're going to get a higher overclock, you might want to start at 1.4. Um, but you don't have to. Now, the, after we change it to uh, 4200, and we know that we let it change um, to all our fields, uh, we're going to go down to here where it says apply and test and we're going to hit that and it's going to run a stress test and we're going to let that run it shouldn't take but just a, just a minute
and you can see here while it's stress testing uh, we had our temperatures up at the top it was running about 61 degrees um, at four point or 4200 which is 4.2 gigahertz uh, we passed our stress test um, now what I like to do in between each test and you don't have to do this but it's what I like to do I like to put flux in a bitch R15 and I'll pull this over to the side and then go back to the home where I can watch my temperatures and I can also watch my all cores um, And then I'm just going to run the, C, the, the CPU benchmark. And you can see all our cores went to 4,199, which is basically uh, 4,200 uh, minus one point. But it's a 4.2 gigahertz overclock. We're going to let that run and we see our temperature is around 70 degrees. So we're good on our temperature. And now that that's finished, we'll open it up a little bit bigger. And you can see we got a 1525. Now I'm going to minimize that. And we're going to work a little bit more on our overclock. Uh, now we did, we did our test on that one and we were okay. So we're going to go here, and we're going to go up by 25. We're going to go 42.25. And you'll notice it changed across all your cores just like it did before. Uh, basically do the same thing. Hit apply and test. I mean, watching your temperatures here at the top. Um, because you can stop the test at any time if your system starts overheating. Uh, and definitely, if it, gets, if it gets up over, I would say, 80, 85 degrees, definitely stop it. Uh, wouldn't take a chance on getting to the 95 limit. I mean, it probably won't hurt it if you don't go past it, but why take a chance? Uh, it's not worth a mild overclock to destroy your CPU. Okay, we passed our test and we've got that applied. So we're gonna move this back up in the corner. We're gonna pull up our R15 again. This time I'm gonna put it, um, well actually, we'll just run it like this again. Let's make it a little bit bigger so maybe we can read some of the numbers. And we're gonna run our test again. Should get a little bit better score here. Of course, if we were overclocking and we weren't getting any better performance, what would be the use of overclocking? So this time we got a 1542, so we went up a little bit. So we're going to minimize that again. We're going to maximize this and we're going to go up to 4250 and do the same thing. Just apply and test. And you can basically do this um, until you get a overclock that does not pass the stress test. Um, and then you can back it down uh, by 10. Um, until you do pass your stress test. Now I'm not going to push mine that hard. Um, we're going to run that test one more time. Now remember we had a 1542 last time. And our temperature is still staying around 71 degrees, so we're good there. Alright, 
And our score this time, same exact score. All right. Now, I've done this a few times. I know where this uh, CPU, well, I don't know the max on it because I don't go over 4.3, but that's just my decision. But uh, So I'm going to go on up to 4.3, and I'm going to hit Apply. And run the stress test. Um, if, if I was overclocking my CPU for the first time, I would go uh, by 25. Um, some people like to go by 10. Um, of course, going by 10 is going to be a little bit safer. And you're going to probably get you know, more of a dialed in overclock the first time without having to move any numbers. Uh, but I, I'm kind of impatient, so I go by 25. All right, that passed our test. And we're going to pull up the Cinebench R15 one more time. And let's see where we're at now. All right, we're at 1564. Now, I normally get better scores from this, but I do have OBS running in the background. I've got some other programs running, so it's a little lower than normal, and my, um, my actual scores uh, aren't going up as much as you would if you were just benchmarking with the, with the Cinebench running by itself. Um, But I wanted to show you guys this, so I've, I've got more programs running. Uh, now, this is usually where most people end the video, but what I like to do, um, I like to keep my system as cool as possible. Um, and what I normally do after I finish getting the, my max overclock is I work on lowering my peak voltage. Um, now, when I do that, I usually go down to 1 1.375 first, and then I'll apply and test. And I'll basically just go down one until I don't pass the test anymore. Uh, because once you don't pass the test, it means your voltage is too low. You're going to need to go back up. Um, and that will that'll keep some heat out of your system. Um, now, I know on this system I can go down to 1.34, uh, but I normally go down to 1.35. Um, and every computer is going to be different, every, or every processor is going to be different. So you want to run these tests. You don't want to just throw the numbers in. I have, even though most of them are going to be close to the same. Um, but I'm going to go on down to 1.35 where I normally run it. I'm going to run my stress test. And if you've been paying attention to the temperature up here, um, if you as you lower the voltage the temperatures get slightly lower uh, and that's going to translate in into quite a bit less heat when you run running the benchmarks and the programs that put a lot of stress on your system um, and sometimes i've noticed with uh, amd when i have a lower voltage um, a lot of times my benchmark scores will go up uh, so let's run this one more time, and as we do, um, let's watch our, our temperatures and see where they, where they end up now, that we've lowered it down to 1.35 for the peak voltage. And as you'll see, um, 
looks like we're going to be about three degrees cooler um, just by lowering, lowering the voltage from 1.38 uh, to 1.35. I mean, and that's not a big difference, um, but any kind of heat loss is always good. Uh, we ended up with the same uh, score, but we lost some heat, so that's always a good thing. Well, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, just keep it short and sweet. Um, if you do, give it a like. Uh, go ahead and subscribe. Throw me a comment. I um, hope you all have a great day, and I'll catch you later. Alright guys, sorry I forgot one thing, um, and I do want to throw this in here. When you get through with your, um, with your overclocking and your changing of your voltage, um, and you've applied it and tested it all, um, I would go back in and, and run a couple of, I mean you can run a couple of hours of a benchmark to make sure it's going to be stable. Um, and your temperatures are going to stay good. But the part I actually came back for was, uh, once you get, get your overclock and you get your voltage all set, hit your save button on your profile so you can come back to that because every time you log in your computer using the, the Ryzen Master, um, you're going to have to open Ryzen Master, come to your profile, and hit apply. Um, otherwise, um, you're not going to have an overclock. Um, so I wanted to throw that in there. Uh, again, you guys have a great day, and I'm glad y'all tuned in. What? <laughs>